So, Ion Maiden is a bit of an odd game. It uses the same engine as the old Duke Nukem, but it's a brand new game, which results in the game looking like something from the past, but plays refreshingly new. While there are shooters that aim to break away from that military shooter mold, and while I enjoy those military shooters for what they do, there is a space for shooters that really bring back some of those great things from the past. The recent Doom 2016 showed that people really enjoy these types of games and that they can be profitable for developers. Ion Maiden falls in the same footsteps of old school shooters. Essentially, if you grew up in the 90s, you're gonna wanna check this out. The game throws you into a level and you don't have any objective markers. The game is a forward moving game, but also allows for you to explore within the environment. And the game is about moving around that environment and continually being in combat, rather than hiding behind cover to wait for your health to regenerate. Mr. Roboto. Ion Maiden doesn't feature regenerating health and relies on health and armor pickups to prevent yourself from dying. The game doesn't restrict you by letting you carry only two weapons either. You get access to a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and these awesome bombs that result in a bloody mess. And you get to carry all of these at once. The movement is fast and fun, which is perfectly paired with the satisfying and violent shooting. The combat encounters are usually quick and deadly. You're encouraged to keep moving around the fight. While the combat is engaging, the game has its fair share of secrets to find in each level. These secrets will help factor into the replay of the level, especially if you're the type of person that really wants to grab everything within a game. The secrets in the game will net you more ammo for more of your deadly guns, or early access to those guns, health and ammo pickups. Some of the secrets that I found I thought were pretty cool because I interacted with a toilet and then some health appeared. The game has some fun little details within the game coming from the gory mess that's left over after you kill some enemies. You can use the enemies' heads as a means to play some soccer ball if you so choose. The game is an absolute delight to play. It is currently in early access and will have its full campaign out later this year. The game is going for $20 and it's staying at that price point for its main release. I feel like I'm in a bit of an odd place with this game too as I don't think the game is currently worth $20 as you only get access to a few levels. But if the main game keeps up this quality as what the game is presented in its early access, then it's gonna be a really great treat for everybody who really enjoys these types of games. For people that are really interested in this game, I would say go check this out. For everyone else, I would highly advise you to just keep an eye out on this game, and once they announce the date when their full campaign will be out, then go out and probably purchase this game. This is definitely a game to keep an eye out for. It's fun to play, and I feel like there's a space for this too. With all the different shooters within the genre, I think there's an awesome place to be able to go back and play stuff like how it was. Along with this, if Ion Maiden is really successful and the rest of its campaign is really good, what I kind of hope happens is that it sort of sets this trend so that maybe people will go back and they'll use their older engines and maybe make a new game out of it. I'm fine with that type of stuff, and I think that would be an interesting proposition to have with other types of games. So if you played Ion Maiden, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Patreon links at the end of this video and in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.